Webasy to run us through the protocols and the rest of the program. You're most welcome, sir. Jessica Rupo, the Vice President of Uganda. His Excellency Musari Amudavadi, the Prime Cabinet Secretary of the Republic of Honorable Ministers of Uganda and Honorable Members of Parliament. Your Excellency the Ambassadors. Your Excellency and the Excellencies. Africa is a net importer of about 12 million bags of coffee, much of which is value added. Paradoxically, Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, Africa exports 11 million bags, mainly raw coffee, and imports more value added coffee. In the process, the continent loses much on job creation foreign exchange, to mention but a few. In the Kenyan context, coffee is grown in 33 counties by an estimated 800,000 smallholder growers aggregated into 590 cooperative societies and 2,700 coffee estates with a total acreage of 109,000 hectares dedicated to coffee production. Kenya recognizes the strategic role the coffee subsector plays towards the country's economic growth and vertical integration. Specifically, coffee is a major source of employment, poverty alleviation, food security, foreign exchange, and generally contributes to the livelihood of many Kenyans and is estimated to support directly and indirectly over 5 million Kenyans along the coffee value chain. Coffee is a major source of employment, poverty alleviation, food security, foreign exchange, and generally contributes to the livelihood of many Kenyans and is estimated to support directly and indirectly over 5 million Kenyans along the coffee value chain. Kenya pledges for sustainable development to prioritize agriculture as one of the top six pillars in the Kenya Kwanzaa Manifesto where all cash crop production is nationalized with compensation of farmers. African coffee, the second largest, most traded commodity in Africa after oil. 
In the year 2021-2022, for example, Africa's coffee production registered a dismal performance of 19.27 million bags of coffee compared to a global production of 167.2 million bags in the same period. This is a paltry 11.5% against a potential of 40% attributable to Africa's comparative advantage in land acreage, rainfall, and fertile soils. As a continent, we must develop appropriate strategies to reverse this negative trend. Coffee has been a source of inspiration, a catalyst for conversation, and a symbol of hospitality. Moreover, it has been a valuable economic commodity that supports the livelihoods of millions in our continent. The G25 African Coffee Summit was created on 18 November 2021 under the auspices of the Inter-African Coffee Organization to re-evaluate the overall performance of the coffee sector. First, let us embrace value addition as our guiding principle. And I therefore call upon governments and the private sector to direct more energy and resources to acquire modern coffee processing facilities, rosteries, and quality packaging. Second, I urge our farmers to increasingly adopt eco-friendly farming methods to ensure that our coffee industry leaves a positive footprint 